Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News, and this week we're looking at a smart AC controller that's really smart and small, the AmbiClimate Mini. It's not officially HomeKit compatible, but if you're using HomeBridge, it still might be of interest. Keep watching for more. So today we have the follow-up to the AmbiClimate 2, which we reviewed in 2019, namely the AmbiClimate Mini. And as mentioned at the start, this is not actually officially HomeKit compatible, but it does work with Siri shortcuts, in addition to Google Assistant, Amazon, and IFTTT. Now, if the Add to Siri badge is new to you, this is the branding now used to show how a device will work with Siri shortcuts, which at least allows control of devices via voice and, of course, the Shortcuts app. That's all good, but what does the Mini do? Well, in essence, the AmbiClimate Mini, just like the AmbiClimate 2, is designed to control your AC, making it smart. But it does have a lot more to it than that, which I'll go into later. In its most basic form, the Mini replaces your existing AC remote control, blasting out signals with the built-in IR transmitter. I'll demonstrate how that works later on and what extras you get on top of the basics. But for now, here are some specs which show it's a Wi-Fi device and it works with both iOS and Android. Now, obviously, this new updated version is smaller and lighter than the previous model, which we'll see shortly. Onto the unboxing, and after removing the sleeve, you get a rather eco-friendly looking box that houses everything you need to get your AC to be smart. You first get an envelope with some instructions in a variety of languages, and it does a good job of explaining the whole setup with some very simple visual instructions, not dissimilar to an IKEA manual. There's also a QR code to download the companion app, as regardless of whether you use it natively or want it in HomeKit, you'll need the AmbiClimate app initially. Next is the Mini itself, and I'm already an owner of the previous model, so I can tell you I'm quite impressed with how they've managed to reduce the size of the product significantly. One other major difference is that this is also designed to be wall-mounted, although you can still have it on a desk if you wish. Next up we have the contents of the lower part of the box, which includes everything to power the AmbiClimate Mini. To power it we've got a USB cable, and it's really nice to see they've gone with USB-C on this occasion, so every little counts I guess. To go with the cable, you get a standard USB type power adapter. Now you can see I've got one for North American sockets here, but they do provide versions for Europe and the UK, as well as Australia and New Zealand. The final part is the bracket for mounting the Mini if you so wish. Now because the Mini is so incredibly light, you can actually secure the bracket with double sided tape, but they also provide a single screw and matching raw plug to fit the bracket pictured here if you prefer something more permanent. As you can see here, and as you'll see later, fitting is actually rather quite easy. Let's now have a closer look at the Mini itself and what's under the hood of this very small device. So as it's designed to control your AC, it has an IR transmitter to do just that, as well as the standard temperature and humidity sensors, but it also has two separate light sensors that work together to build up a thermal picture of the room it's placed in. Besides that, there's not a lot else other than the USB-C port for powering it and a small LED indicator to show the current status of the device, with green being the colour for regular connectivity. I mentioned the AmbiClimate 2 previously, so here it is next to the Mini for comparison. Now, although the base is slightly wider at 47mm and 30mm wider than the AmbiClimate 2, the height has been reduced to more than fourfold, down from 108mm to just 24mm. I'll now show you the basics of mounting the device, and in my case I'm using the double-sided strip to do this, as I've not decided on where it'll ultimately go, but it does need to be placed so that there's an unobstructed path for the IR signal to go from the Mini to your AC unit. The Mini simply slips onto the bracket, and once you plug the USB power supply in, you're ready to start the installation process via the AmbiClimate app. As I've gone through the installation process in a previous video, you can watch it there via the provided link. So I'll start at the point where I'm installing the Mini via a macOS app called AmbiBridge that resides on your Apple computer. The AmbiBridge app creates a virtual bridge which comes with a HomeKit code, so in this case I scan the code and the bridge is added to Home. Now as this isn't officially HomeKit certified, you'll be warned of this, but click Add Anyway to proceed. 
you'll go through the normal process of adding the device and assuming you've added your AmbiClimate account details to the Ambi Bridge, the Mini will show up as a separate device which can also be placed and renamed as you prefer. So here's the Mini in the Home app and if you long press on the tile you can see the standard thermostat interface along with four modes for your AC, off, heat, cool and auto. Now if you go into the settings there aren't many other options besides choosing between Celsius and Fahrenheit but where the Home app is lacking the Ambi Climate app more than makes up for this which we'll see next. The app has a series of modes, the first being comfort mode, which uses AI to work out the best settings for you based on feedback you provide over time. So if you're a little hot or too cold, you'd indicate this and the AI will begin to work out your preferences in tandem with conditions in the room. Temperature mode just allows you to set the temperature manually, but maintains your preferred settings in tandem with AI, whilst manual mode does much the same thing, but without the involvement of the AI functions. The next mode, Away Mode, allows you to set a target temperature whilst also minimising costs by only using the AC when needed. Now you can set a maximum and minimum range for the AC to be activated and also include humidity, temperature and light sensors to provide additional metrics to maintain those preferred settings. You also get options for the device itself which handily includes a sensor calibration option to offset your temperature and humidity sensors. You can even set the brightness of the status LED if you so wish. When it comes to data, the analytics tab gives you a ton of options for things like historical data, allowing you to see temperature and humidity readings for a day, a week or a month, whilst insights helps you see your AC usage over time and allows you to pinpoint areas where you can make adjustments to your AC or to fix costs or fix a potential issue. Finally, the deployments tab simply shows you when the AC was controlled and by who and in which mode. And finally, the AC settings tab gives access to all parts of your specific AC unit for even more granular control. Let's wrap up with the pros and cons, and on this occasion I do have to start with the one negative point, which is the lack of official HomeKit integration. Although given the AI won't work in HomeKit, this could be the reason why they don't bother. That being said, let's move on to the pros. And the reduced size is really quite impressive, so this is a really good device to keep hidden, although I do like the design enough to show it off anyway. Now as this can be wall mounted, it does give more freedom as to where to place it, which is a big plus. And when it comes to the amount of sensors in this tiny device, it does make it stand out against many other AC controllers. And with all the additional data and functionality you get via the AmbiClimate app, it's hard not to be impressed with how much extra control you've got your hands on. Finally with the AI you do get more hands-off functionality ironically enough so in theory you get an AC that does its job without you having to think about it although with the mini the AI comfort mode is a paid service so that's something to bear in mind. So with this overview covered, let me know what you think of the Ambi Climate Mini in the comments section. Now if this has indeed interested you, you can also check out the in-depth written review on homekitnews.com for more details. Until the next time though, thanks for dropping by and we'll see you in the next one.